All right, so I have a guitar riff, and actually it's more than a riff because I have a couple riffs and I kind of have a song structure already in mind. Um, on these videos, usually what I do is I come up with a couple things and I just keep expanding on it until I end up with a final finished song. I kind of have an outline that I like to follow in my head. I can kind of modify that if needed for whatever I'm writing. So yeah, I came up with a verse riff and it's an A major. <laughs> Then I'm gonna jump out of the key and I'm just gonna go G, D, A. So those are all major and then C sharp minor. I have to kind of have like a little bit of a, I'm not sure if jumping right in. Oh duh, the C sharp acts perfectly as a bridge right back into A major, so that works. Maybe uh I'll use the C sharp again to transition. Maybe I'll do something kind of creepy for the bridge. Just kind of like have something different. Okay, I got a song. Ah, smashing stuff. Okay, I just tracked the left side. I actually added a section, like it was like spur of the moment at the end. I was doing the third chorus and I was like, you know, that little minor part, I'm gonna let that stand on its own because it's just kind of like abrupt and really cool sounding. And if I layer too much and put a guitar solo on it, it's gonna kind of lose that effect. I just decided after I was playing the third chorus that I was gonna just modulate again into E major and do, I just did E to B to A to C sharp minor. So just kind of worked out well. And Okay, so now I'm gonna do the guitar solo. Solo came out pretty good. So, all right, um, bass part, I'm probably gonna do like, something like that. So the drums are next. I play it on the electronic kit behind me. This electronic kit is kind of very homemade. It's a bunch of acoustic shells. I literally got them in the garbage, actually. Some of them are an early kit I got for my birthday as a kid, and then others are garbage parts, literally on the side of the road. Sound comes out, I hear things. Audio good, yay. It was kind of a pain in the butt. I kept getting to the bridge part in the middle every time I did. Like, I played a super easy part, but <laughs> I just kept blanking. So I would just like be playing and then all of a sudden I'd just stop and I'd be like, there's no pause, you idiot. Keep playing the chorus. And I had to do it like five times. <laughs> just wrote some lyrics down and came up with a basic melody. This isn't really all that complex. There's not a lot of lyrics. I did a test run, which is a scratch track. And there's like you know melody there and then i wrote the lyrics to that and that's kind of how i do things a lot of times as far as vocals go all right so the vocals are done 
that's cool. I'm just gonna delete the uh, scratch track. The vocals get a uh, compressor EQ and verb, compressor squashes, EQ chops highs and lows, and reverb makes it sound all good and cool and makes me sound better than I am. This is gonna get mastered, which means I go onto the master bus and I plop a limiter on and I go like to the volume and turn it up. If you're interested in my music, check the link in my description box. That'll take you to a link tree link that has multiple links on it. It's just kind of nice because it eliminates a lot of the clutter, but yeah, you just click there and then it's like, hey, check out all these other sites and you just can go all over the place and I'm on all of these sites where you can just find my music. So it's convenient and fun and yay. So <laughs> check out all my other videos, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, leave a comment, and preferably don't tell me I'm terrible and suck. I do, but you don't have to tell me. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Here comes the song.